Hello again everybody, this is John and Glenn with Best Price Nutrition. Uh, today we're actually doing this video and it's purely because we get a lot of questions and there's a lot of searches about this particular topic. Which are the dangers and side effects, if you want to call it that. I don't like the word side effects, I think if it's an effect, it's an effect. Um, it's more of a marketing thing. Um, of whey protein. Um, you know, I was a little surprised by it, but we do get a lot of questions about it. and uh, So we thought we would do something maybe to dispel some myths and rumors. and. Well, I mean, the fact of the matter is, is it's protein. It's, mm -hmm. it's not something that's just made up in a lab. Want to yeah. explain the source? Yeah, th this is whey protein, or, or yeah, I've heard some people call it whey, but it's actually pronounced whey. Um, it comes from milk. Uh, I inside of milk, I, uh, or actually milk that comes from cows or goats. Uh, well, any species, any, any species. mammal, basically, that's making a milk. Yeah. It's going to have casein and whey. Um, 80 percent is casein, 20 percent is whey. Uh, for years, the cheese industry was just... Uh, uh, throwing away whey. They didn't know what to do with it. It was essentially like if you open up a cottage cheese or a yogurt, that white film on the top, that's what whey is. Um, and for years they were throwing away and then one day they decided to look into what it is and, and found out that whey is very good for you. It yeah. contains a lot of uh, uh, immune system enhancing uh, immunoglobulins. immunoglobulins uh, uh, and they found it's also very good because it's a complete protein. Um, the bodybuilding community has embraced it because it's uh, low calories, um, it, it, uh, it's a high in branched chain amino acids. Uh, so here we have now whey is probably the most popular, most widely used protein out there. Yeah, the amino acid profile is very favorable. I think before whey was out, it thought egg was kind of the gold standard, so it got the with the biological value score of 100, and, yeah. then, and then whey came around and actually exceeded 100, and that's that's kind of where that comes from. Um, as he said, it's rich in BCAAs. It's very easy to digest. Now there's different forms of whey. There's whey isolates and whey concentrates. So if somebody's lactose intolerant, you know, you want to stick with a whey protein isolate then because they're going to isolate the protein. They're going to filter out the fat and the lactose. A concentrate is going to have a little bit of that lactose le left over typically, and the vast majority of people are going to be fine with it. A lot of them add lactase to it, mm -hmm. and really the thought is is that the inability to digest lactose isn't uh, you're not bound to that fate. You know, a lot of the times it's been a lot of research that's been done with people's gut floors and found that we're just missing some of the probiotics that you need to actually break it down because it's the bacteria that are going to break it down for you. So that's another thing to consider. But like we said, whey, it's very light. You know, if you ever mix it up, it's very liquidy. It's easy to digest. Um, there's, we even have had customers that, you know, they have children who won't drink milk or won't mm -hmm. take protein. They'll make them protein shakes. Yeah. So it, it's protein. There's not some secret here, this isn't somebody just formulating in a lab. You actually have to have a real raw material, which in this case would be the cheese byproduct that was being thrown out. It's a byproduct because they were throwing it out, but mm -hmm. now we actually have found a use for it. Um, what are some of the myths or rumors that you hear about the dangers? I mean, just protein use in general. Yeah, People think it's going to liquefy your kidneys or something like that, which is just ridiculous. There's absolutely no research to support it. They've actually done research with people doing, I mean, like eight grams of protein per pound of body weight, which is completely unnecessary. You'd never have to reach those levels. But even then, unless you have some sort of pre-existing kidney condition, yeah, you're going to I mean, be fine. We don't recommend taking eight grams of protein. Yeah, that's of a, body it is true that, that protein in of itself is a large molecule and it has to pass through the kidneys. But like John was saying, they, they've done research on it to show that you could take enormous amounts of protein. And, and for a normal person who doesn't have a kidney ailment, it, taking in a lot of protein is not going to harm them. As long as you drink enough water, um, it'll easily flush through the kidneys and, and you won't have a problem. If you read most research, I mean, typically you're looking anywhere between three quarters and a full gram of protein per pound of body weight is what's going to be recommended. It's not uh, you're going to be this eight grams or something silly like that. So you're fine. That's a complete yeah. myth. I challenge anybody to find actual peer-reviewed human studies that document any such things. So that's just not not the case. Um, I'd say that's other things with whey protein what people have said. Yeah, I mean, unless you have some yeah. extreme food allergy, and, and even then, I think a lot of people, I think there's a lot of hyperbole out there too about that. I think. I think a lot of people too also think, uh, oh, is whey protein going to make me bulky, or is protein yeah. going to make me bulky in general? We get a lot of questions like that from women. Women especially, yes. And and, and you know, I mean, no, it, it's not going to do that. First of all, with with women, they don't contain the hormones to make them bulky, or, or the ones you're thinking of are on steroids. Yeah. If you that's what you're thinking, you're going to look like because. You know, a lot of our, our male clientele try and look very muscular, and some of them don't succeed, and they're taking a lot of protein, you know, because there's some other factors that have to come to play. You have to work out hard and other things like that. And also, the more muscle you have, the more fat you'll burn. So for women, it's to put on more muscle. It's a good thing. 
you're not going to turn into He-Man or anything like that just from taking in a protein shake, you know, so. Yeah, protein in general, there's something called a thermic effect of food, which means how, how much, how many calories your body expends breaking something down. Uh, and protein has the highest thermic effect, meaning that by taking in protein, you're burning calories because uh, you, you know, the process of actually breaking it down into a usable form, uh, breaking up the, the peptide chains um, is, is very causing your body to use a lot of calories. There's a metabolic cost to it, and then your body has to take that protein and amino acids and make body protein. So when you look at a person, you're basically looking at a blob of protein. Mm -hmm. You know, your, your skin is collagen, your muscles are actin and myosin, your hair is keratin. Those are all proteins. If we put somebody on a desert island and we gave them carbohydrates and water, they would die. However, if we gave them, you know, protein and water, you'd be okay. You know, we'd make sure you get some vitamins and stuff too, so you don't get scurvy and things like that. But there's no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. However, there are such things as essential proteins, i.e. essential amino acids. So, um, you know, the other concern that sometimes comes into play with, you know, proteins, whey in this case, would be the sweeteners. Again, you know, people think that if they have an artificial sweetener, the, the things are going to happen. That's fine. You know, we don't have the long-term research on it. So, you know, it, it's kind of buyer beware. I think there's worse things you can do than take a little sucralose or, you know, nobody's really using aspartame anymore. Yeah. Um, but there are naturally sweetened ones too if that's a concern. So you can even get by that. But most of them don't really have that much sucralose in there and there's been zero research to show that there's anything, you know, bad about sucralose as far as, you know, we've seen in terms of documented peer-reviewed, not stuff on, you know, nutty websites. I mean, so please don't post those because not interested in reading them unless it's peer-reviewed. So uh, we'll save you that time. Um, so I think we covered everything. I can't really think of anything yeah. else as far as... I mean, whey protein safe. It's been used for years, not only by the bodybuilding community, but in the medical community. Um, I have, you know, none of us have ever had a side effect or anything from whey, so it's uh, pretty safe. Yeah. So, yeah, if you find one that doesn't agree with your system, then, you know, try something else. But whey is usually going to be one of the most easily digested proteins. So uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments section of the video or in our blog. Also, you can visit us at facebook.com forward slash best price nutrition. Thank you.